Good morning! If you don't know who I am, if you don't know who I am, my name is Sharon. Contrary to the popular belief of my name, scrolling past your newsfeed, it's Sharon, not Sharon. Hello, how are you? Gonna make the good coffee. And I'm featuring the jewelry that I received yeah, last night on my live. If you didn't see what I got, y'all need to go check it out. But today we are wearing our square bracelet. Super. I am. I don't know what it is about this bracelet, but I just really love it. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's square. I don't know. Just love it. Super cute. And this necklace and the earrings, y'all. Okay, let's make the coffee. So I have hot water here. Skinny Brew, 225 milligrams of caffeine, keeps you full and focused, enhances your mood, curves your cravings, increases your metabolism, all the good things, okay? We're going to add that into hot water here. And that's it. I'm just going to mix it and I'm going to enjoy it. That's it. Did I get my... I didn't get my frother. I didn't get it. All right. You need one. You need a frother. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's actually kind of big. I gotta watch out, otherwise it's gonna fall off of me. Gotta watch out. <laughs> okay. Mix the coffee, mix the coffee, mix the coffee, mix the coffee, mix the coffee. All right, now coffee's all mixed up. I can now talk and chat and everything. Yay, it's Thursday and I'm thirsty. Thank you. I'm gonna enjoy the coffee. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh, wrong side. Where the mug is that way. We're holding it the correct way. Let's try to take a sip, even though it's really, really hot. I'm gonna do it. Mmm. Okay, it's not it's hot, but it's not that hot, so we'll have another sip. <laughs> This coffee super bomb. Okay. So it's Thursday and it's not as jacked up cold as it is in other spots. Like let's pray for Texas. Like I've been praying for Texas so much. I have a lot of friends over there in Texas. I love y'all out there praying for you guys for real, for real. Yes, girl. The giveaway was already like what Monday. Girl, yes. Mm -hmm. What was her name? Um, can't remember the girl's name. It was with an M. Mary? No, Mackenzie. Mackenzie. That's what her name was. Mackenzie. Yes, Mackenzie Barnum. She won the two hundred dollars, and there's another two hundred dollars that's going to be given away again every Monday. So, all you got to do is throw up a post for me. Super, super simple. It's free. That's all it is. Hmm. I'll post the winner again. That way everybody can see it and everything. So, you know, because I'm not, we ain't trying to hide anything. We are definitely try, not trying to hide anything. You can totally Google all of my information and everything will come up. Like, seriously, you can go do it. You can go do it right now. Good morning, Craig. Mmm. That's the thing, too. When you want to know who you're, like, dealing with. You want to know who you're working with. So, you want to know who your girl is. I've been actually doing like videos and everything. Good morning, girl. How are you, sis? Um, I've been doing videos for a very, very long time. I've been doing um, live videos since 2013. Yes, yes, yes. And we're now 2021. How long is that? That's a very long time. I started doing um, cooking on Periscope and I was sharing with people how to make things from scratch. Like literally, I was make, make, doing all the fun things. Rainy knows she's been following me since then. We've been following each other for very for a very very long time, and I've been doing that for so 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 long. And so then when I just kind of realized that your girl was kind of like really big and we needed to lose some weight, and so I jumped over from doing you know cooking all the time and baking and everything like that to now just making sure that I'm just being healthy and just taking care of myself because that's really where it's at. I never really took care of myself and you can go back on the YouTube and you can go see 
the change. You can totally see the change. Like, I was a really, really big girl. And so, yes, girl, girl. And I'm, you know what? Your girl's coming back to her roots. I'm actually doing more. Yes, thank you so much. It's from my girl, Raining Jewels, Rainy Harrison. Y'all need to go get your jewelry from Rainy Harrison. If you don't already follow her, you guys need to go follow her. She has all the cute stuff. She really does. She really does. You guys need to go get it. My husband really liked the necklace too. He's I, I thought it looked like like Black Panther. Like I really liked it because of that. Anyway, Wakanda forever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys need to seriously understand that I've been doing this for a very long time. I've logged in my ten thousand hours. I'm kind of a master at like lives and stuff like that. I'm kind of like a master because I've been doing it for so very long. Um, the same with like cooking. Um, if you need cooking, you want some recipes, you need to come to your girl because I know what to do. Um, <laughs> and I've been doing it for so long. So um, yeah, like. Know who you're talking to. Know who you're messing with. No, I've written two books on Amazon. The first book was Your Baking is Whack because literally your baking is whack if you don't have my book. You need to go get it. And it's actually a free read for you. Um, Years ago when I first started, everybody was like, you got to do something free for people. And I just was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that book literally should be almost ten dollars to be honest with you but it's a free read go check it out go get it and consider it a gift from your girl sharon if you like that book then you'll also like my other book called sauces to keep your man that's also an amazon ebook that you can get it's really really awesome i've taken like I think it's like four to five different base recipes and I've just expanded them with all the additives that you can do with them. It's super, super awesome and fun. I love that book. I love that book. I mean, I love it because it's my baby. I wrote it. It took me like a good month to write it and, um, and a good month to edit it and everything. So it took me two months. It took me longer to write, um, your baking is whack. Your Baking is Whack took me a whole weekend to write. Like, I sat down and I just was like, wrote a book. <laughs> you can do that, too. It's so, so simple. It's so simple to write a book. Anyway, I've done that. I've done live videos. I'm now, like, in the realm of, like, just being as healthy as possible. I am a Zumba instructor. I just got to get more, like, I got my ring light. That's good. We're getting started on that. That's right, girl. Come on. I got re I got receipts, sis. I got receipts. So, you know, I'm going to be starting to do some um, Zumba instructing here very soon. I just got to get a new laptop. Like, the laptop that's sitting right here is a dinosaur. And hallelujah, when I rank up, I'm going to get another computer. Praise the Lord so that I can do that. You know, that the enemy always keeps you bound on certain things that you know that you need to do. And it's so just interesting, too, because it's like, oh, you only need like X amount of dollars for certain things. And then like the enemy will completely just block you from all those things. And it's just it, it really he just he really will block you. He really will block you from getting those things. And then it's all on us to pray. Hallelujah. Praise Praise the Lord, hallelujah, and speak out what it is that he said he's going to do, because I'm going to get that computer. I don't care. He try to block me. Try to block me. Block me again. I got the victory. Shoot, you did not, you, you didn't see, you didn't see my post on, on stories, devil. I got the victory. Hallelujah. I got the victory. And so I'm going to buy a brand new laptop when I rank up. Praise the Lord, because the one that I have is like a dinosaur. It really is a dinosaur. And it's so hard for me to do anything computer, you know. And so it is so. And so it is in Jesus name. Hallelujah. I got the victory. Shoot. I was singing it earlier this morning. Um, Yolanda Adams. I got the victory. Praise the Lord. Y'all, if you don't know that song, you need to get that song in your repertoire. Just get it down in your shanana. Hallelujah. Get it down in here. In the, like the, mm, right down in there. So, mm. When you know that you got the victory, it's like, it feels, it, it's like a spirit right in here. It's like peace. You just like, oh my goodness, like I got the victory. And that's how I feel this morning. Like I really feel like it's, things are turning around. Things are changing. They're turning. 
and it's a and it's for all the good, you know, right? I love it when the Bible says all good. Like <laughs> I'm like a stick. I'm like a stick I'm like, um, the Bible says it's all good. Hey Rico, how you doing, girl? How you doing? Yes, like seriously. So anyway, I love the Bible. I love the Bible because there's so many different things that you can like read in it and you it's really quite funny. It's really quite funny. Like there was like a point in like the um in the Bible in Matthew where Jesus said, um, you you didn't say that. And it's just really funny because if you don't if you if you have not read the Bible, you need to read the Bible. You need to go read the Bible because it's really a really good book in the sense of like there's a lot of stuff that happens and the way they explain things it's just like I had to read something like 50 million times just to realize that that's what they were saying <laughs> they'd be like talking about like you know like seeds are spread like what what and you're reading it like three times like wait a minute what are they saying <laughs> y'all need to go read the bible <laughs> saying like you really do need to go read the bible because it's really it's spicier than y'all even think y'all think that like 50 shades of gray is spicy no nah. y'all need to go read the bible okay like it's, it's, it's it is a great read hallelujah it's 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 everything <laughs> it is everything praise the lord and when you read it it reads you. And it's so funny because me and my husband were talking about um, reading the Bible last night. And it, and he was just like talking about how like he was reading it. And he was just like, you know, thinking that like a per certain patches, a certain passage was for somebody else. And it really was for him. And I said, you know what, honey? It's so funny that like the Bible is like one of those books that like literally we can like point the finger and everything at other things. But like if we don't really take the time to actually understand that the Bible is really for us to actually, it's a really a mirror and we're really looking at ourselves through a mirror. And if we can understand the Bible for ourselves in, like for ourselves the way the Lord has actually intended it then we can actually interpret the Bible the way it's intended because it has to be the word has to become flesh and that's where it was like I was telling my husband like I was just like people like want to like not use the Bible as like that type of thing it's like oh I'm gonna read the Bible but then all of a sudden it's like oh um it's for that person not for me and we get it twisted like the Bible is not for that person the Bible is for us it's for us so that we can overcome amen and so when you the the issue is is that when we begin to interpret it incorrectly it's because we we did not allow the word to become flesh in our lives and how does the word become flesh in our lives we embody it for ourselves how do we embody it for ourselves we really take it on how do you take it on to yourself well you you could begin to read it you begin to praise it you begin to believe it you begin to soak it into your system and then once you get that soaked into your system nothing or no one can tell you anything about the bible that the lord did not already speak to your spirit about Period in the story. So you know, and it, it, it really helps you with your discernment, helps you with your life, helps you with everything because you know that it, it doesn't matter what anybody says. If you have the word in your spirit, in your, it, like, again, like I said, it's the word made flesh. It's not just, it's like what the, uh, it's like what the theologians say. It's not just knowing the word because you can know the word. Like I know a lot of people, but they don't know Sharon. You know, does that make sense? Like, you know me, but you don't really know me. And that's the knowing that you need to have with the Lord. You need to have that. Um, I think it's, what is it? Yada? It's the yada, the logos, the yada. You need to have that. You need to have that because if you don't have that, you're lost. You really are lost because you're not really re receiving the full interpretation of what the Lord is really giving to you because your interpretation is on, it's for somebody else. <laughs> not just reading it but studying it, especially with your commentary yes you have to you have to you have to and if when you don't like study it or actually let it seep into your body you have literally uh, you you've missed out on the word becoming flesh in your life 
right? It's John 1 and 1. The word was God and the word and the word was God. Come on now. Where's my word? In the name of Jesus, right? Did, did, are y'all hearing me? Because that's where it is. But if you, if the word did not get in flesh into you, I, that's why I was like talking to my husband. It's like, that's why there's so many different denominations because the reason why I believe there's so many different denominations is because they decided to take the Bible the knowing of the Bible, not like the the yada and the logos, like really knowing it. They took like the knowing of the Bible, okay, and they said, okay, I don't really like that there, so I'm going to change it here, and we're going to call it a different denomination and everything like that because they decided they were going to change something of the Bible because they didn't like what the interpretation was really for, okay? And so they decided they were going to change it. And so now all of a sudden, now they're in slight error because they change in the Bible. Okay. No, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> nobody wants to hear that. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop because that's really deep. I'm just saying that's really deep. That's really deep. But the issue is, is that like, you got to really get the word flesh within your body. How are you going to get it flesh within your body? You read it, you study it, you embody it for yourself. How do you embody it for yourself? You allow the word to read you because if you don't let allow it to read you boo you are trying to let let the word read other people and that's not how the word that's not how it's supposed to be interpreted <laughs> you have to look at the mirror first before you can reflect it on anybody else hallelujah hallelujah the most effective ministers are the ones who have literally have taken the word to themselves and have actually embodied it embodied it that's why it says like the bible says you know you are deceiving yourself if you're only hearing the word and you're not doing the word okay oh you know that's really where it's at you know you are deceiving yourself when you know the word and you're not doing the word i would even go deeper and say it, you are deceiving yourself if you don't allow the word to become flesh within your life that's where you're deceiving yourself is because you can't allow you're not allowing the word to change you you gotta let the word to change how are you gonna how are you gonna say lord change change me oh god make me more like you how are you gonna do that <laughs> and you're not allowing the word to get make flesh in you come on now hallelujah you're gonna have to allow the word to seep within your body and there may be some changes that has to happen but change is going to come, you know what I'm saying? Like it just don't have to happen so that you can receive that word within your flesh so that you can understand the word for yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all, I don't know how I got from like, <laughs> that's the Holy Spirit there far yet. Yeah, that's the Holy Spirit. I don't know how I went from talking about my books to Holy Spirit, but you know what? God does. Amen. And it for whoever that was for, Amen. I pray that you receive that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I ain't nobody. I ain't nobody special. I just decided to open up my mouth and the Lord will fill it. Amen. That's what he says. That's what the word said. He says, you open your mouth and I will fill it. And I, you know what, guys? I really, most of the time when I come up here, I go, Daddy God, what am I, what do you want me to talk about? I don't know. I have no idea. Like, I come up here and I go, okay. <laughs> Some days I do have like really good, like, okay, I'm going to have some good content today. Most days I come up on here and I just, whatever the Lord has, like really, whatever he has, I open up my mouth and he will fill it and that's it. And I'm drinking the good coffee and y'all need to drink it too. Okay. Like seriously, stop trying to play the games. You know, you need the coffee. Okay. You know, you want the coffee. You, you watch me every day. You just need to drink the coffee with me. Okay. You need a frother. You need the coffee. Okay. Boo. That's it. All right. I'm going to get going. It's thirsty Thursday. So if you're thirsty, you need to get the coffee. Come and call me. Okay. <laughs> I'll hook you up with my coffee. And the sale is going to end too. Oh my gosh. Another sale. Um, My 39 code, my $39 codes are going to go away. And see, friends, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. $39 can get you an extra $500 in like another account, like another card account that you can have $500 in. What if I were to help you out to do that? Hmm? 
wouldn't it be worth it? You change $39 into $500. Or let's just say like you, okay, like you just need to like save some money. Okay, cool. Like we'll just use that as your savings then. Great. Or let's just say you really want to do this business, but you really don't have any money. So let me show you how to make money while you're losing weight so that you can pay so that the business can pay for your stuff. You know, there's ways to do this. But we have so many excuses that block us. Oh, I don't really know. I, it's too much. I just, I just can't. Like, stop with the excuses, friend, and come aboard with me. Like, really, come aboard. Come aboard. You already know you need to lose weight, okay? And come on. I got to talk to people all the time. 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds and you want to lose. 70, 100 pounds. Booze, let's go. You can totally do this. I ain't nobody different. What I did was is that I just decided to keep on going. Not one day, not one week, not one month is going to stop me from not hitting my goal. And it shouldn't stop you either. So keep going. Keep going. You know what to do? Then do what you know. Do what you know. Right? And if you need help, don't get weird about it. Just, it's okay. It's really okay. I am not afraid of even saying that I needed help. I was working my butt off in the gym. In the gym. <laughs> and I lost five pounds. That was very discouraging. When you're going to the gym two and three times a week, you're cutting down portions, you're eating things from scratch, and you're not saying any, you're not saying anything. That's super discouraging. If that's you, boo, we need to talk. We need to talk because I'm gonna hook you up with some tips, some tricks, okay, and some amazing tools that's gonna allow you to get to your goal, right? And then we're gonna talk about maintaining because I'm in the realm. I'm going to be 38 next month, hallelujah, and I'm going to say this until I can any longer. You will not lose weight with me just to lose weight, amen? Hear me again, you will not lose weight just to lose weight because with Sharon, unless you want to do it yourself, we will be creating a plan for maintenance, okay? We are not going to just lose 20 pounds and then lose another 20 pounds the next year. No, we're not, boo. We are going to maintain that weight, okay? So understand, understand Sharon. When you come with me, I'm going to hook you up with all the things, all of the things. And I'm going to help you out to maintain your weight. Because again, there's no need for us at our age, anybody who's my age and just like in this bracket should be losing weight and gaining it back and then losing it again. No, no, and no. No, no, and no. No. Okay? We don't have that. We don't have that. Because my sister was even saying something too the other day. It was funny. But it's the truth. You know, after a certain age, you know, it, it, it it's not by coincidence that like your leg starts going like, you know, numb or swollen or anything like that. Like, after a certain age, like, we just got to be careful, okay? We can't be doing all that anymore, okay? We got to be able to, we got to start taking care of our bodies now, in Jesus' name, now. We can't be doing, if you're my age and you haven't been taking care of your body, this is a mandate from the Spirit of the Lord. You need to begin to start taking care of your body now, in Jesus' name. And why? Why do you need to begin to start taking care of your body? Because you have to present yourself as a living sacrifice. You ain't going to go to um, hell for sin. You're going to go to hell because you didn't do what God told you to do. Okay? Amen? And that's his written word. And his word says you need to be a living sacrifice. How are you going to be a living sacrifice if you can't walk up the stairs? How are you going to be a living sacrifice? If, like, I'm just saying, y'all. How are you going to be a living sacrifice if you can't walk up the stairs? You can't run up a hill. You can't play with your kids. You can't cook your dinner and you tired. Really? Okay. Stop it. Like, stop. Like, for real, stop. And just, like, we just really just need to just do something small every single day in order to get to that goal, okay? Like, do something small every day to equal up to that goal because you not doing anything at all is you just spinning your wheels, right? But you know, but you already know what to do, right? You already know. Then just do it, friend. Just do it. Then just do it. I love you guys. I'm going to get going. It's 6.30 here in California. It was dark 30, but I can see the ugly sky coming out because it's white outside. I, it may be raining. I have no idea, but yesterday was kind of nice and it was cold and clear and windy. 
I pray that it's different today. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to get going. Have a fantastic day.